Hi, this is Lynn Jacob of MLJ Coaching International, where we help you get the fun back and prepare for retirement by taking tons more time off today, all while watching more profits simply flow in the back door. This, in the last few newsletters I've done, I've been talking about time management as if there is such a thing. And so you want to go back to the last couple of newsletters that I've sent out and a video in particular that's there. But what I want to talk about today is an experience that I've just had. So the last couple of days I've taken them as Lynn days and I have another couple coming ahead of me and then next week it's a little bit of work sprinkled in with a whole bunch of gushing all over my grandbabies down in Atlantic Canada where we're all going on a vacation to Peggy's Cove so watch for some pictures from Peggy's Cove. At any rate, in the last two days I've been taking time for Lynn. So what happened was yesterday I had a great massage and facial and lunch with one of the very, very special people in my life and from there today I had a hair appointment so that meant that I was going around doing a little bit of shopping here and there with all this extra time and one of the things that happened was my credit card wouldn't work yet again so I have a major credit card American Express that's not accepted around here a lot so I have two major credit cards now because I accumulate points right that's why I call them major credit cards I pay for them these points get me down to see my baby a lot, which is a lot about prioritizing my activities so that I'm managing my time in the best way that works for me. So, I'm in the store, I swipe my card, it says there's a problem with the card. Ugh. What has happened is, I got this card I think in April or the end of April, I have not yet been able to use it at a store. So I blame myself. Okay, I probably didn't do the PIN, you know, that, that uh, personal identification number, the code or something like that. It's a chip card. Brand new. What a pain in the butt. At any rate, so I, in early June, go into the bank, set that all up, and the, the very helpful teller there said, oh, it looks like you've already done this. Yeah, I thought I had. So at any rate, now it's all set up. No problem. Doesn't work. So, it was one of my Lynn days, it's what I thought. It turned into a buffer day. So what happened is I go to the bank, I said I am not leaving here until we get this straightened out because it is not a priority on my list. Typically, I have the time today, that's why I've come in here. I want this card fixed. So it took maybe an hour and a half. Supposedly, I'm going to get it by special delivery, a new one, by special delivery on Monday at my office. Okay, we'll see. But the thing is, it turned into a buffer day. So what's a buffer day? Well, when I'm talking about time and how to prioritize your activities and get the best use out of your time, make every hour count with my clients, then I tell them about three types of days. You have free days, focused days, and buffer days. And I don't want this video to go on too long so that you don't watch the rest of it. So watch for the next video and I'll explain in much more de detail free days, focus days, and buffer days. And suffice to say that today was a little bit of a Lynn day, but not very much. It was mainly a buffer day. So watch for the next video in the next newsletter and learn all about buffer days and how important they are to help you get much better results in your business. This is Lynn Jacob, MLJ Coaching International, where we help you earn more profits, have tons more time off, and prepare for retirement on your terms. Talk to you soon.